Adapting to life in this country can be difficult enough for newcomers, but then we make them pass an exam before they're officially accepted as Canadians. Well, a pilot project operated by the Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Centre Society is aimed at giving prospective citizens a leg up on that. Kate Wiley joined a session of the Citizenship 101 program at the Victoria Central Branch Public Library. The topic at the session was federal elections, and Canadian volunteer facilitator Keith Kershaw was fielding some questions from participants Oktay Sarek from Turkey and Peter Chang from China. Nice to see you. All right, so going through the, the reading, uh, do, do we have any terms or, or words that were unclear um, that we should go over? People speaking official opposition and Her Majesty loyal opposition. Okay. You know, I find you know some responsibility, like here, the federal have the policy, policy, policy. I find it have different. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's different. So provincial um, policing is for highways? Oh. Right? Municipal policing is for towns and cities. Oh. And the federal policing is the RCMP, the Royal Canadian Mountain Police. Okay, thank you. Yeah. My name is Carrie Greenwich, and I work for the Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Centre Society, and I'm a pilot project coordinator for Citizenship 101. One of the things that we notice is that sometimes with adult learners having been out of school for a while, uh, to go back into the whole routine of studying a book, being even exposed for the first time to multiple choice questions is a challenge. And I think the other thing that happens is that sometimes they don't get the opportunity to practice in their daily lives a lot more English. So being in a group setting, they get to speak amongst other newcomers and practice their English and their confidence in speaking English also increases which is very heartwarming to see because at first they might be very shy and by the end of the series they're just happy spontaneous speakers so far the feedback from our participants is that they really see the value of having a free program to help them prepare for their Canadian citizenship tests and they also appreciate us giving them a sense of what it means to take responsibility and become a Canadian citizen. So you're not just focusing on being test ready, but also focusing on taking on the major responsibility of becoming a new Canadian. My name is Destiny Villalobos. I'm from Philippines. When you enrolled, what did you hope to learn? Were there specific things that intimidated you about living here or becoming a citizen? Everything about government especially because um, we got different government way back home so the government here is um, somewhat complicated for me and it's really different like really hundred percent different so I have to really focus on it and um, at the same time like Canadian history everything is new so I have to learn and uh, understand because that would be in the test. <laughs> I think all the aspects are important because we have the interaction between the, the coordinator and um, we got guests as well. So it helps and um, it gives us confidence within that, oh, we are accepted here even though we're not really from Canada. We're not born here. My name is Juan. My last name is Sanchez and I come from Mexico. It is, uh, so many things that I didn't know uh, uh, about uh, what involved being a Canadian, like uh, all the responsibilities and uh, obviously your rights. And uh, once you know about it, absolutely you feel you feel better. You feel a little bit more confident, more uh, a little bit more adapted, which is really hard when you're coming from other country, especially. Uh, at my age, I mean, I came here when I was 30 already, 30 years old, and uh, it's very hard to leave everything behind because you have a life back there, right? You have family, you have friends, you have uh, pretty much a life already built. It. And uh, it's pretty hard, but uh, this course has, has, been, has been helping me a lot to feel more uh, adapted. And do you feel confident about the test? Oh, yeah. Yeah, at this point, I feel pretty confident.
pretty confident. I think I, I think I will pass it for sure. <laughs> I'm from Barbados. I'm a permanent resident and I feel the excitement that I see in the eyes of my participants when they know that they're getting closer with each passing week to becoming a citizen. It makes me feel like I'm part of their journey and I can relate to it because I'm going to be soon in their shoes. There they are on public radio. Carrie Greenridge, a coordinator of Citizenship 101. And thanks to CBC's Kate Wiley for bringing us those voices from the pilot project of the Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Center Society. And if you want to find more information on the program, you can go online, citizenship101.ca.